Because I haven't actually like found any of my vlogs, so I'm gonna try that today. I'm beginning to feel that maybe it's something that's quite unsustainable if I want to pursue it as a full time job. What I do now, or how often I work on this, is going to compare or give me even a taste of what it's like to go full time because that's gonna be everything. I actually applied for some internships or like short term jobs uh, in like media company. So, what I'm gonna do now that is are over is to just work really hard on this craft, like making more videos, making more vlogs, maybe. Uh, shooting more, editing more, posting more and uh, basically just trying to uh, refine my skills and try and get more exposure to what the industry in Singapore is like. Dear Diary 3rd December 2021 Up to that point in my life, A-Level was one of the toughest obstacles yet. Finishing my last paper was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. I wanted to start shooting again, but at this point, the biggest limiting factor was my computer. It was 6 years old by now and worked way too slowly for me to do any good editing on it. So with the help of one of my friends, I got to work building my own computer. Around this time, I found out that I was only enlisting to national service at the end of March. So I decided to make use of the next 3 months to really immerse myself into content creation and get a taste of what freelance work was like. Me and Elliot just grabbed lunch. I went to many shoots with friends, and I also managed to get some commissioned work, mainly through contacts. At this point, I had only done one gig before, so these projects were really way out of my comfort zone. But I learned a lot, and I am glad that I did them. I also borrowed a drone and started shooting a cinematic project I had been planning for a long time now. What later became the video, this is my story. Following up with the vlog series from my school days, I also continued making vlogs to document this journey. And since the past two months were spent cooped up at home, I also took this opportunity to meet up and catch up with friends and spend more time with my family. <laughs> then came the month of January. Almost all of my friends enlisted in early January. I had never seen my schedule look so empty in years. But I continued pushing on in my freelance work. I enrolled in a 14 day online course to improve my editing and filmmaking. I also had the incredible opportunity to go on the set of a local film production to help them shoot some behind the scenes photos. Concurrently, I worked tirelessly on This Is My Story and continued with my vlogs, meeting up with a few people who were yet to enlist. I was shooting almost every day and every day I wasn't shooting, I was at home editing. But towards the end of January, things took a rough turn. I had applied for a bunch of internships and short-term jobs with my portfolio, and they started getting back to me at around this time. I got rejected by all of them. On top of that, This Is My Story premiered on 18 January 2022. Six people watched the premiere. I can't say that I wasn't discouraged. As much as I enjoyed the process, as a creator it still would be nice for my work to be appreciated by others. I love to tell stories, but for a story to be told, you do need an audience. February came along and I decided to take a little bit of a break. This was also around the time I turned 19. I spent the day with my family and honestly I wasn't thrilled about turning 19. It was just another reality check for me, that I'm about to enter adulthood and still have zero idea what direction to take my life in. After my burnout break, I invested some money into building my own website, and also got my business registered on Google, but I wasn't able to land any clients this month. I guess the bright side of the month of February was still getting to meet up with some friends. Some of these outings were shoots, others were just to hang out. This was my holiday after all and I didn't want to be constantly worrying about my work. And that brings us to now, the beginning of March. But as the title of this video suggests, this will be my last video. I'm going to spend the rest of this month preparing for my enlistment, working on university applications, and there are also some things that I have to do outside of work and school. I know this video was kind of depressing but I really don't see it that way. I'm really glad that I was able to push this gig over these short 3 months and the experiences I was able to glean from it. With that, 
This is Big Salad signing out for the last time. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for your amazing support. It means the world. Guys, I don't even know where to start. Oh. So I just crashed my drone. <laughs> Elliot, I'm not the sun. I'm the sun. <laughs> so, a secret place for Elliot's secret. KG, no fun.